Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial video. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm going to do is show you the integration between Oxygen and Gutenberg so that you can create a client editable website. What's really great about this is that you design the page content in Oxygen, you click one box, and everything is converted into a Gutenberg block that then your clients can edit themselves. So things like images and text become really easy for them to edit without having to touch Oxygen at all. And that takes the workload off of you to make small little menial changes like photos and text changes to the website. And it also offers a really fantastic way for you to have a differentiator from your competitors when you're pitching websites, as well as a bit of an upsell so you can offer the ability for people to edit their own websites, which people tend to like. So with that, what we're going to start off with is the page content that you see here is all set up in Oxygen on my homepage already. So we're actually going to move into the edit screen over here. And if you have an Oxygen Builder plan that includes the Gutenberg integration and that's installed on your site, you'll notice there's this new checkbox down here. It says make this full page editable in Gutenberg. So again, I have all the page content already set up in Oxygen. So I'm going to click that, update my page, and then I'm just going to reload. So now, as you can see, I'm still in the Gutenberg editor here, and everything that you just saw on the front end is now converted to a Gutenberg block that I can go ahead and change you know, at will. So instead of book your appointment, I want this just to say book now. And there you go. So there's a button change. Uh, let's change some, some prices here. We're going to make this $930, and then we're going to make this tooth cleaning $1,579. Our doctor's name, uh, let's actually, let's change a person's name from Jacob Carroll to Sterling Moss. And then down here in our showcase, maybe let's say we want to change one of these services from surgery to surgery and cosmetic. And then what I'm going to do now is just update this page here. Let's go refresh on the front end. And what you can see is that the button we just changed from book your appointment to book now is reflected. The price changes are reflected. This person's name is changed. And then we added surgery and cosmetic. So that all took place in the Gutenberg editor, of course. So we didn't actually have to enter oxygen. And that's really, really great. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that changes that are made in Gutenberg don't actually reflect back into the Oxygen Editor. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So just for the sake of example, keep in mind that this tooth cleaning we set to 1579. So let's click Edit with Oxygen, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can see then, like I said, the um, the changes aren't reflected into the Oxygen Editor, and that's actually intentional, but it's okay, because what you can do is change the arrangement of things in the Oxygen Editor, save, and then the changes that took place in Gutenberg are still reflected with the layout changes, for instance, that you make in Oxygen. So for the sake of example, of course, our tooth clean here we set to a much more expensive price, so let's actually put that in the middle of this column here, and then I'm going to save... And then let's go take a look on the front end. And what you'll find is that our tooth cleaning with the appropriate price is now in the middle. So if your client asks you to change some sort of layout or arrangement, that's really easy to accomplish and you're not going to lose the edits that they made in Gutenberg. And as long as you don't delete or you know add a new element, then those changes are going to be reflected back and forth between Oxygen and Gutenberg, which is really awesome. Now, if you're wondering about preventing somebody from seeing Edit with Oxygen and how to hide that, that's actually built right into Oxygen as well. So let's go back to WordPress Admin. And then what we're going to do is hover over Oxygen and go to Settings. And then there's two things to keep in mind here. There's the Role Manager option, which is really great. So this is what is going to allow somebody to see that Edit with Oxygen button at all. So by default, this is going to be set to No Access. So you would want to make sure that the users on your site are set to an appropriate level. So like if you want to give an editor, for instance, access to the Oxygen editor, you would change that to full access. A subscriber probably wouldn't get any access, but an administrator does by default. So keep that in mind. This is, this is going to be important if the idea is that you're giving your client the ability to edit the page content in Gutenberg, but you don't want them to have any idea that Oxygen is actually there for them to edit the page content. Just keep in mind this role manager does allow you to change who has has access to oxygen. The other one is the post type manager. 
This is a really great way to hide the edit with oxygen button on the entire post type, regardless of the role that that particular person has. So if you want it to not show up, let's say on your posts for like blog posts, or if you have other custom post types, those will appear as well here, then you can do that. So what I'll do here is just save this change for the post type here. So let's go into posts and I'll just edit the one here. And then what you'll find is that the edit with oxygen option is not there on the page. So just like that, it's not available. So the combination of those two settings would be a really powerful way to make sure that nobody sees the edit with oxygen function if that's something that's important to you. So moving back into the front end, I just wanted to touch again on that integration between oxygen and Gutenberg. So you can really just set up the page content in oxygen. You can click that checkbox and automatically everything is converted to that Gutenberg block for you. That's a really great way for your clients to make changes easily that takes the workload off of you. And like I said earlier, that's a really fantastic upsell. Every single time I mention that to someone in a pitch for a new website, they always love that because you know it's, it's similar to like you know Squarespace or whatever that they could do themselves, but they're hiring you for a reason. They're not there to build the website themselves, but they tend to have somebody in the company that would be more than capable of making these small changes. And to me, they're already on some kind of hosting and maintenance plan anyway. So the idea that they'll get in and make the changes themselves is super attractive because that shortens the time for them to actually get in there and edit rather than waiting for you to do it. And it's just something that makes people happy. They have control of the website. And so this is a really, really great way to make sure that people aren't getting in and messing with oxygen. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future tutorial.